In this video we will see about 8086 I.O. addressing. In 8086 I.O. there are 64k locations in the I.O. address space. And these locations can be accessed using either an 8-bit address or a 16-bit address. And these addresses are known as port addresses. Okay. So if you see this uh, I.O. map of 8086, the addresses are from 0, 0, 0, 0 in hexa to FF, FF in hexa. So there are 64k locations and uh, it is shown that uh, this memory map is byte addressable okay so either you can use a 8-bit address or 8-bit port address to access individual bytes or you can access adjacent bytes using a 16-bit address or a, or a 16-bit port address okay so uh, that's the accessing mechanism then uh, for io only A0 to A15 lines of the address bus are used. So the remaining address lines that is from A16 to A19 are in an invalid state. Okay, they are not considered for IO addressing. Then we need to see how we can access this 64 locations, 64K locations, and how the 64K locations are physically present in the system. Okay, that's what we are going to see. So first of all about accessing the 64k locations. I already told you that you can access them using 8-bit addresses or 8-bit ports as well as 16-bit ports. Okay, let's consider the 8-bit addresses. So this 8-bit addressed memory map locations are mainly used to refer to the inbuilt system devices like timer, keyboard, etc. Okay, so uh, this is the memory map, 64k memory map of 8086 and it is divided into the 8-bit address area and uh, your 16-bit address area. So if you see the 8-bit address area, this is the range of the 8-bit address area. Okay, that is from 0, 0, 0 to uh, FF in hexa. So if you see this area, this area consists of the essential system devices like DMA controller, interrupt controller, etc. Okay, so that is the main purpose of this 8-bit uh, port or 8-bit addresses. They are used to address the inbuilt system devices. And uh, another important speciality is uh, whenever they are used in instructions, they will be used as part of the instructions or they will be stored as part of instructions. So uh, for our uh, port based IO, we will use two instructions in and out. So consider uh, these two instructions first. So if you see these instructions, we have uh, area of the IO map like 19H, right? This is a 8-bit address and this address, right? It will be actually be made part of the instruction itself okay or stored as part of the instruction itself similar is the case of this out instruction okay so they are so these 8 bit addresses are known as uh, fixed addresses okay and uh, these uh, fixed addresses uh, will access only or use only a0 to a7 lines of our uh, address bus okay and as i told you the range is from 00H to FFH or only the first 256 byte okay or the first 256 bytes are used to access the internal components of the system or the main internal components of the system okay now we will see how we can access uh, the remaining area of the 64k locations okay so if you see the remaining area that is from over uh, here to all other thing okay it uh, definitely requires what capability beyond 8-bit addressing okay so the remaining area of the 64k space is accessed using 16-bit addresses or 16-bit ports okay and uh, mainly the 16-bit area is used to refer to the peripheral connections like uh, serial parallel connections and hard drives etc okay and the 16-bit addressed locations or ports are also known as variable addresses because uh, they are used in a particular IO instructions uh, by first putting it into a DX register and the DX register is used as part of the instruction. Okay, so uh, they are used like this. Okay, this is one sample example and uh, their capability is like they can trigger A0 to A15 lines okay, uh, alone. So the remaining as I told you it will be invalid. And the addressing capability, this you have to remember, is actually from 00H to FFFFH. Okay, so it means that it can address the entire 64KB. Okay, so if you are going for a DX register based IO, what happens is uh, even the essential system area or the system devices and all other peripheral devices can be accessed 
using this uh, what 16 bit io or 16 bit port based io okay so that is this is a very important uh, concept actually right the entire 64 kb can be accessed using the 16 bit uh, port addressing but the 8-bit port addressing limits our access to only this essential uh, devices okay now uh, being the first question answered how we can access the entire 64k now the remaining question is where can you find this 64k okay so there are two ways in which the 64k io address map can be located okay one is uh, isolated io and other is memory mapped io so what is isolated io so in isolated io what happens is uh, this is your uh, 1 mb primary memory of 8086 okay so uh, this is your 64k io location or the io memory so this io memory will be not will not be a part of this entire 1 mb space so that is meant by isolated io so in isolated io this entire uh, 64k or 64 kilobyte space is outside the primary memory so we what we have we have the entire 1 mb primary memory for our uh, operations or available to our programs okay it is not so any part of uh, the entire 1 mb is not reserved for io okay so that is isolated io but what is memory mapped io in memory mapped io a section of the primary memory okay uh, in our case 64 kb is taken and uh, it is used to refer to the IO devices and note that uh, when we use memory mapped IO what happens is uh, any instruction that refers to memory can also be used so that is one of the main flexibility of memory mapped IO but actually it is not preferred in real world PCs because it takes up this uh, one MB space and the instruction set can also be uh, confusing so what we go for usually is the isolated IO in which the uh, special instructions like in out in us and out us are used to refer to uh, the input output ports and uh, they will be actually not be taking up any space in one number one mb space and io access will be convenient 